Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com. Well, it's time for you to step up your game. You want to now work with an external flash. You're tired of all the issues that you have with the built-in flash in your camera. But you have to make sure that you disable the auto pop-up feature on here. So let's first try it out with a Nikon. This one is a Nikon D3200. This seems to be one of the more popular of the smaller DSLRs on the market. Now, with the camera on standard auto, boom, there's your pop-up flash. So if you have an external flash, this becomes an issue. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go into our menu. You're going to hit the letter I, which brings you into the info menu, and you scroll over to where it says flash. When you click on there, you have auto, which is for auto pop-up. Your next one is for red eye, for a red eye reduction. And this is the one we want to send it to. When we set it to this, this is the international sign for no, which is the little circle with the slash. That means your flash is now disabled. So I now have the capability of putting an external flash on here. I happen to have an Altura strobe here, handy. Turn this guy on. And the beauty of it is that on this mode, you can even work on the standard auto and automatically, no issue. It fires off every time. Now we're gonna take a look and try doing it with the Canon. It's similar, but different. Canon's version, and this happens to be a Rebel series, a T3i, but the menu is the same on most of their APS-C sensor cameras. In their system, you're going to actually turn off the flash capability altogether. So I really would not recommend that. What I would recommend is setting it on any of these on your control dial, whether they're program, time value, aperture value, or full manual. I myself am old school, so I prefer working on full manual. That way I have full control over how my exposure is being created. Again, we're gonna pop up and remember, load this straight on. Do not wiggle from side to side. Turn the flash on. And we're going to set it to the proper shutter speed. For Canon, anywhere between 60 and 1 200th of a second will work fine. And now I can fire my flash and get proper lighting because I'm working with a much more powerful and much easier to control external light source. If you have any ideas for videos on photographic equipment, subscribe to the link underneath. And please shoot me an email at video at digitalgoja.com. Happy shooting.